So as part of the uh, Western Jerwood Creative Bursaries scheme, they've developed a toolkit which is based on the experience of the cohort of creatives they've been working with over the past many years. It's a toolkit that foregrounds the experiences of um, early and mid-career creatives from backgrounds which are underrepresented in the art. And it's a really powerful piece of testimony, piece of work, because it actually has it's the voices of people themselves talking about their experiences of coming into arts organisations. Inclusive practice is about listening to as many different voices as possible and making the right accommodations for individuals um, and individuals who bring with them protected characteristics. And what we've been doing today in this workshop is I've been sitting with a whole bunch of other people who come from different parts of the, the culture and creative industries. People in different positions, you know, from um, people working in HR to people working in diversity and inclusion uh, to people working at CEO level um, to other people who are independent consultants. We've done some workshopping, we've done some sort of role modelling. It certainly made me think about different things. It's made me think about how I want to support an organisation that I'm a trustee of to be even more inclusive than it is already. Um, I'd like to think we are very inclusive, but actually just from here, there's, there's things that um, I want to take back uh, and I want to talk to you about with, with the rest of the board. So I think one of the big takeaways from the, the toolkit and from the workshop is you need to build in time to listen, reflect and then think about things. And that's something, you know, time is very, very precious and particularly in the industries that we work in where there's just, you know, everyone's trying to do lots and lots of things and juggle things often with very, very limited resources. And that's the most precious commodity and I think the beauty of a workshop like this is you do actually sit down and you do take time to listen, you do take time to reflect, you do take time to think things over and that in itself is incredibly valuable. Um, the challenge will be how those of us who've been in part, part of this workshop will take that back to our real lives, you know, how are we going to build in those times for ourselves, for our colleagues, for the, the people who, who we work with, for our members of staff, how can we create that really valuable space for them uh, to have that really, really important um, experience because you know, it's only through taking that time where we can really, really think about our practices and, and, and how we can make them more inclusive.